This video is sponsored by DraftKings. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. In today's video, I'm going to give you my top five offensive and defensive playbooks to use in Madden 24. I'm going to tell you guys the best formations in these playbooks to use in the game, and I'm also going to tell you guys what playbooks I'm going to be focusing on the most for the first couple of months so that you guys know what playbook to get into. If you plan on following my channel, you plan on using the same plays as me, these are going to be the playbooks that I do the most work out of. As always, though, if you guys have playbooks that you like and you think I should check out let me know in the comment section and if you want to stick with me throughout the year and follow some of the offenses and defenses that i put out make sure to be a subscriber Woo! hit the like button and leave it on the comment section and other than that it's going to get right into the video now i'm going to start off on defense in madden 24 offensive linemen are weapons if you have a star lineman anyway you can bulldoze any cornerback any safety that they see and create huge run lanes so that's why it's important to have defenses with size now i'm going to start off with the los angeles rams because this playbook here has one of the best combinations of defenses with good size and defenses with speed they have a really good defense like the 4-3 even 6-1 which i think is going to be one of the best blitzing defenses slash base defenses in the game the best 3-4 defense is the 3-4 odd and they don't have that they have the over and the under which are solid replacements but they're not as good as the odd the largest defense in the package is going to be the 4-4 split this one here is four linebackers four defensive ends it's probably going to be one of the better run defensive packages but it's not a very good pass defensive package the 3-3 cub is probably going to be one of the meta defenses once again as it has enough defensive alignment in it that it won't get bulldozed in the run it also has a lot of linebackers it probably isn't a good idea to put safeties in at the linebackers like you have in the past but you always have that option so it's a very flexible defense you get to some of the faster defenses they have the dime one four and the dime Two, three. The diamond four is going to be the closest thing you have to replace the dollar, uh, which is still going to be one of the best pass defenses. And, but you also have the quarter one through seven, which is going to be one of the better, uh, you know, all out pass defenses as well. Next up, we have a team that probably makes my top five defenses every single year, but I never actually use them. And that's the Baltimore Ravens. Once again, you get to the three, four. They don't have the odd, which is kind of a bummer, but they do have some good replacements in the over, under, and the bear. But then you get to the nickel packages, and that's why they make this particular video is because they have five different unique nickel packages that all have some use i mean you could probably spend your entire game rotating through these five nickel packages now they have the three three cub that's probably the best base defense out of the entire playbook the two four double mug is a good defense the triple is an interesting one got some good blitz packages out of there and you also have the three three odd then you get to the dime and they have three defensive dime packages which once again is probably the most in the entire game the one four the two three and the two three will next up we're getting into my ebook territory the top three books are probably gonna be my first three ebooks that i put out starting with the las vegas raiders now this is what i'm talking about when i say teams that have more size packages are going to be higher on my list this team has both the four three even six one and the three four odd which two which to me are probably the best four three and the best three four defensive packages in the game they got both of them they also have the three three cub which is pretty much mandatory to make this list but they also have the two four double mug the three three odd the two four nickel then you get to the nickel packages and the dime packages and they have the big nickel over g i think they're the only team on this list that has the big nickel over g you get to the dime they have the dime two three sam that's going to be your dollar replacement as they do have the db fire two and they do have you know your man zero blitzes and stuff like that Next up, we got the Carolina Panthers, which is an ebook that I already have out. Link in the description if you guys want to check that out and on my website. I'll have that information all in the description. But once again, they have two of the best larger packages in the even 6 1 and 3 4 odd. You have to have the 3 3 Cub to be on this list. That's most important. But they also have a good number of good speed packages in the Dime 1 4, which is going to be your nickel replacement, and the 2 3, as well as the quarter 1 3 7. And last but not least, we got the number one defense, the meta defense, the multi DD defense which has been the number one ebook that i put out the last couple years and it's probably the best defense in the game once again you got the three four odd which is you know once again one of the best in the game when it comes to, in my opinion it's my favorite defense and then you also have the five two normal which is once again a good run defense is very similar to the four four split you got the nickel three three the nickel three three cub which is mandatory and the nickel over all solid defenses you got the dime normal this is one of the defenses you're not seeing anywhere else the dime normal is still a very good base defense because it has four down linemen even though it has a ton of cornerbacks so that's kind of in the territory of the three three cub as far as you can use it as a base defense with a ton of speed on the field so one of my favorite defenses right there you have the dollar three two which is something that most other playbooks you had to find a replacement for the quarter normal which to me is probably the better version than the quarter one three seven next up i'm going to go over the top five offensive playbooks to use but before i do first a word from today's video sponsor DraftKings. football season is back and if you like to play year-long fantasy football with either your friends family or co-workers DraftKings has 
has the perfect contest for you in their largest best ball contest ever. If you're familiar with how to play year-long fantasy football but you don't know how to play best ball, it's really easy because they're basically the exact same thing, only with a $1 million top prize. To start playing best ball is simple. Download the DraftKings app, sign up using code MADMONEYSHOT, enter DraftKings best ball $10 million contest, and draft your team for the season. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Each week, your team will automatically rack up points from all of your top scores. No ads, no drops, no I should have played him instead. You'll just be able to sit back, relax, and enjoy the fantasy football action without the need of ever managing your team. And the team with the most points at the end of the season will take home the $1 million top prize. But this contest is filling up fast, so don't miss your opportunity to get in and all the fun and excitement and sign up now using promo code MADMONEYSHOT. So what are you waiting for? Head to the DraftKings app and sign up with code MADMONEYSHOT and start playing best ball today only on DraftKings with code MADMONEYSHOT. Starting off the top five offensive playbooks, I'm going to give you what I think is the best passing book and the best running book, starting with the best passing playbook, which is probably going to be the spread offense. The spread offense is one of the most unique playbooks in the game because it's basically just all shotgun formations from top to bottom. It does have two pistol formations, but for the most part, if you choose this playbook, it's because of all these you know, shotgun formations. Shotgun formations are probably the best passing formations to use. My choice for the best running playbook shouldn't surprise anybody as it's the Baltimore Ravens. Every single year I put out a Baltimore Ravens uh, playbook and this year's not going to be any different. It's going to be one of my first ebooks that I put out because it is to me the most unique rushing attack in the entire game. You have a lot more pistol formations. To me the pistol formation is a lot like the shotgun as far as your quarterback is really far back from under center so you don't get sacked that much but you have much better running options in pistol formations which is why this playbook is on this list because it has the most pistol formations in the entire game aside from the pistol playbook itself into the top three we have another chalk playbook this has been in my top five every single year uh, for the last couple of months and that's the, the san francisco 49ers it has a lot of really good uh single back formations has a lot of really good eye form formations and shotgun formations this year running from under center is back and a philosophy like the niners who have a lot of formations like eye form and strong with a fullback and a tight end and they have that old school pound the rock philosophy that's going to come back in a big way but they also have a ton of really good shotgun packages as well and you can see their running back heavy philosophy even in their shotgun packages because to me the best formations in there are going to be the debo package the the uh the slot wide receiver backfield and the split close coming in at number two we have a ebook that i've already put out in the denver broncos if you guys follow my channel over the last couple years you know that i've been using the saints pretty much for the last you know maybe three years straight it's one of my top playbooks the reason that the saints playbook is so good is because they had offensive genius like Sean Payton as the head coach. Well, what do you think is going to happen when he goes to Denver? That's going to be one of the best offensive playbooks to use. They have the single back formation, the iPhone formation. The iPhone close is probably going to be the best one out of all those as far as running and passing. I got a one play touchdown in the PA tight end league that scores against every single defense in the game. Getting to the shotgun, they have some of the best new formations. Formations like uh, the empty chip quad, four wide receivers on one side of the field, very glitchy uh, offensive formation. They also have the doubles hip, which is a very unique formation which is basically all deep passes if you look at some of the pass routes on this it's like all deep passes one of the better new formations in the game they also have the tight which is something that was one of the metas last year they still have it the tight's not in a lot of playbooks this year next up i have as my number one playbook this year the new orleans saints which is my number one offensive playbook it's going to be the first playbook that i'm using i already have an ebook out link in the description this to me is still the best playbook in the game and i'll tell you why if you hopped in the saints you may have noticed that a couple of formations that i put out in previous years like the eagle h slot is gone the gun tight offset te is gone i'm going to stick to some of the newer formations and some of the newer plays though single back to run from i form to run from pistol strong weak even got wildcat in here but the, the shotgun is really my favorite formations the number one offense to me in the entire game is the stack wide flex offense and the stack wide flex is only found in the saints you can't find it in any other playbook it should still be in the steelers with the nfl live playbook set to on but for now, it's only in the Saints, which is very important. They also have some very good formations like the wing slot offset, which is going to be one of the first offensive formations I put out. This here is an absolute cheat code. This might be my favorite offense right now. My third favorite is the double Z close. If you follow my channel last year, 
it should look pretty familiar because it has the same escape play and the same wide sail play, same mess spot as an offense that I put out from the Ravens last year, which was one of my favorite offenses as well. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, leave in the comment section. I'll have a video popping up about Madden 24 on the screen right now. So if you want to click that, I'm sure it'll help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.